What up, what up? Wimbush here. Today I'm excited to show you guys this new feature on Redshift for Cinema 4D that will allow us to use the team render to render out a single still image using Redshift. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so let's get started with this little quick tip here. And so just a quick rundown of the scene that I have built here. I have, I'm using some assets from Megascans. I have a barrel here that I just duplicated a couple of times to put into the scene. I have a rock pile. I'm lighting it with just a single HDR file using um, the dome light. And then for my render settings, what do I have here? Under GI, I just have Radiance Cache. And then I'm using that Radiance Point Cloud as my secondary. So nothing too crazy going on here. The main point of this video is to show you guys with the latest update, the Redshift. Well, actually this started with version 3.0.14 and they're up to 0.16 now, I believe at this moment. But with that latest update, we can render out a single frame using Team Render now. And so if you're not familiar with Team Render, basically any machine that you have, I mean, you need a Redshift license for each machine. But if you have multiple machines, you can actually use all that power now to render out a single image. So if you do like key art or like high res post art, this is something that I know a lot of people have been asking for for a long time from the Redshift team. And so let me show you how to get this thing going. It's real simple. Like I have my scene all set up here and everything. All I have to do is go over to my render button, hold down the left click button, and then come over to team render to picture viewer. And that's all it is. Just make sure you have all your machines check marked down here. Click that button there. And if I make this a little bit smaller so we can see what happened here. All the machines that you have hooked up on Team Render, once they're initiated, they're gonna turn yellow and it's gonna take like a few moments for this scene file to get distributed through your machine. So I guess it depends on how many machines you have on your network. But once it gets rolling, you can see that we get some of these rectangles up here starting to finally fill in. And so each rectangle represents a machine that is rendering and contributing to this single image. So let me pull this out a little bit because you can see that it's going pretty fast. So before it was like each machine would handle a single frame, but now we can have a single frame distributed across multiple machines. So this is rendering out pretty fast i mean on my main machine that i have here i have a 2080 ti and the titan x on my other machine here the one that's labeled winbush 1080 ti i actually have four 1080 ti's in there and so it's going to be using what six gpus to render this out and so i don't do a lot of key art or poster work but I just thought I'd throw this out there and share this with you guys that, you know, if you do need to render a high res single image, now you're able to with all the machines that you have. And so, yeah, there we go. That took about a minute 19 distributed across all my networks there. This was a high poly image. I just went for like the highest poly um, with 4K texture maps on here and everything. And then an 8K HDR just to kind of really push it and see what it could do. So yeah, that's not a bad time at all. Uh, a minute and 19 seconds and so that's basically it right there so hopefully this did help you guys out if it did make sure you leave me a comment down below i know this is a feature that a lot of people have been asking for for a long time also make sure you check back with the channel next week i'm going to be dropping advice episode two if you haven't seen episode one make sure you click on my channel link i had some great guests i had matthias from cinema 4d I had Ben from B-Motion, Nancy from Metal, and I had Seb from Workbench. So make sure you check out that episode and then come back next week for episode two. So until next time, keep creating. I'll catch you on the next episode. Take care.